Morning Show. If you go out in the woods today, you're in for a big surprise. And now here's the man who turned that cute little song into an ominous warning. My uncle, your host, Red Green. We appreciate you coming out here. I had a little accident up at the lodge this week. <laughs> little? Yeah, right. <laughs> Junior Singleton blew the roof right off his garage. <laughs> little. <laughs> yeah, but, but he learned something. You never jump start a barbecue. <laughs> Luckily, you know, the roof landed completely intact, upside down, of course, right in the middle of Possum Lake, and here's the kicker. She floats. <laughs> so get this, so get this, right? Because the roof is the only thing the lodge members have that doesn't leak, including themselves, they're gonna turn into a boat. Hey, Harold, not just any boat, a fan boat. Yeah, we mounted a Dodge Slant 6 on the back there, got a helicopter rotor on there vertically, put the whole unit in right where the east trough joins the soffit, you know, where the, where the bird's nest was there. And we're just gonna try it out now, so stay tuned. Yeah, you can either watch it here on television or just go down to our nearest hospital and meet the guys there in about an hour. <laughs> Insects. I'm going to show you how to make a bug repeller there, and Ranger Gord is going to be tagging house flies. Of course, Harold's going to be bugging everybody, including Dougie. And I'll show you how to deal with insecticide. You heard of Murphy's Law? This place should be called Murphy's Lodge. <laughs> You're going to have to pay for that statue, you know. <laughs> Oh, Harold. <laughs> oh, no, 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 okay. You know what? They, stay, they go to start that motor on the big helicopter thing, right? But, but the fan boat didn't go anywhere. You know why? Because it never was floating. It was wedged on a sandbar. <laughs> I'll tell the story, you know. So Moose Thompson figures all you got to do is give one more gas. So he gives it more throttle and more throttle and more throttle. Oh, that's clever, isn't it? You know, if something's going to go wrong, let's have it happen at maximum velocity. <laughs> exactly. Well, the fan boat still doesn't move. What happens is the backwash from the prop whips across town and lifts the billboard right off the main highway. <laughs> There's this picture of a smiling cow on a unicycle just flying through the sky. <laughs> That's not going to sell much milk. No. <laughs> but suddenly, boom, lands right in the center of town. Flatten the statue of some guy. That's not some guy. That's just not some guy. That's Ezra Banger. He's the first citizen of Possum Lake to wangle a government grant. You got $35 to kill mosquitoes with a hammer. <laughs> yeah, but okay, you said the fan boat was gonna work and it didn't, so you made a mistake. You made a mistake. What are you talking about, Harold? You said the fan boat was gonna work and it didn't. You did something stupid, now you gotta pay for it. You made a mistake. All right, fine, I admit it, I made a mistake, but so did your parents. <laughs> You made a mistake. You made a mistake. Harold, I'm armed. <laughs> now, Bill had asked me to give him a hand getting this old car going, so I thought I'd drop him over there. First problem is, of course, he's locked himself out of the darn thing. What are we gonna do now, Bill? Another key there? Oh, no, he's got a coat hanger. Just having come out of the closet recently, he's still got the coat hanger in his uh, sweater. Of course, I happen to notice that the passenger door is... Uh, well, that to me seemed easier. You know, why don't we just get in there and slide over and then we're set to go. You don't need the coat hanger, Bill. Bill, 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 hey, Bill. Bill, you're not paying it. Of course, Bill. Oh, boy. Ow! <laughs> Stop. I'm over it. Bill, I'm, uh, I'm in the... Bill, I'm in the... All right, come on over here a minute. I'm going to show you something. Oh, Bill, hey. hey, look at this, Bill. See? The door's actually open. Look. Uh... See? <laughs> Got her completely unlocked. Come on over here a minute. You'll see. Take a look. Oh. We'll get it started later on. All right, they tell me this is the big one for the grand prize of an 82 Lada and four sets of jumper cables. <laughs> Harold, you have 30 seconds to get Dougie Franklin to say this word. And go. Oh, okay, um, 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 deceive. The boss. D um, mislead? Advertise. <laughs> All right, uh, okay, all right. If you were to look at this card right now, that would be faster. <laughs> yes, 
Yes, but you'd be disqualified because you got caught. <laughs> All right, all right, uh, you, you, you debunk somebody, you stack the deck, you, 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 uh, you, you, you fraud, uh, that's, that's... Business. Oh! <laughs> all right, Dougie, but if somebody does that to you... Oh, they're a dirty cheat. There you go, man. <laughs> Buttons are flying everywhere. A belt buckle bounced off the mat. A zipper ricocheted off the fishbowl. Suspender sprang at the cat. There's a lesson to be learned here. You might want to take down a note. You can have extra helpings or bend over, but you obviously can't do both. <laughs> you know, uh, hearing how Ezra Banger got himself his own statue just for killing mosquitoes, it's got me thinking that if a person could come up with a better way to kill bugs, they could not only get rich, they'd probably get a lot more dates. <laughs> so I thought I'd take this week's Handyman Corner, show you how you can tell the insects to bug off. All right, this thing here is called a fogging machine. Hope that came out right. <laughs> the way that works is you fill it full of pesticide, and then you blast out this toxic crap, killing out all the mosquitoes. Now, the problem with this is that if you kill all the mosquitoes in your whole area, you're probably also going to take out every other form of life. So instead of that, I say we just, <coughs> we just concentrate on the mosquitoes that are flying in your face and biting you in places you thought nothing ever would. <laughs> so get yourself one of these aluminum lawn chairs and an electric drill and get busy. go out even in the worst mosquito weather. I just uh, sit down, get comfortable, turn on my mosquito fogger, which is hooked up to the chair and runs through all the holes. Just give her a couple of seconds to kind of warm up and pretty soon that insecticide fog is gonna... <laughs> and then, you know, I'll tell you, the beauty of this system is you don't have to put any uh, <coughs> insect repellent on, so you don't have to worry about taking toxic chemicals. <coughs> in through your skin. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, all right. <coughs> For those of you who maybe who are allergic to the, the ragweed or the pollen or the, <coughs> or the DD, <coughs> or the DD, <coughs> or the DD, <coughs> tea, you might want to go with a mechanical solution to the problem. You know how uh, the horse uh, has a tail on her there and they flip that around and it kind of pushes the bugs away and then in Australia, they got the hats with the corks on them. They, Flip them around to keep the didgeridoos and the wallabies off their billabongs. Well, you can do the same darn thing by taking uh, one of these uh, patio umbrellas here and a washing machine. And all you do is uh, hang your uh, various little trinkets here on the edge of the umbrella and then uh, hook her up. to the umbrella, and I got the umbrella duct taped to the agitator of the washing machine. She's all set to go. Let's give her a try. Well, there it is. And people are going to be talking about you all over town. They'll say, why, it's just like a flicking horse's behind, or words to that effect. <laughs> so remember, if women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. Uh-oh, spin cycle. Bill is all cranked up and nowhere to go. Well, the town council has decided to replace the statue we destroyed with our fan boat there. I'll tell you, the bunch of us are all in the wrong business. These sculptors are getting thousands for doing nothing. Nothing? Well, it takes a lot of talent to turn a hunk of rock into something that resembles a human face. Well, Mother Nature did it with you. <laughs> Or close enough. <laughs> we don't need any fancy, high-priced, starving artists trying to rip everybody off while they wait around for another renaissance. We're going to build a replacement statue ourselves. 
Oh, oh, you know what? You know what? I could, I could, I could build a sculpture pretty cheap. You know, when I was in Cubs, I used to make ashtrays out of asbestos for Father's Day. <laughs> yeah, the leaders used to figure, you know, well, if they smoke, asbestos won't be hurting them. <laughs> well, thanks anyway, Harold, but we've already decided. We've made a little model here and everything. Take a look at this. Look at this. Ready? 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 Huh? See that? Hey? We're gonna have a giant possum sitting out in front of the mayor's office, eh? Looking dead. Talk about life imitates art. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> you guys think you can do everything until you try it. And you don't think you can do anything, and then you prove it. It's... <laughs> okay, what do you got for us today, Ranger Guard? Well, today, Red, ladies and gentlemen, I'm performing one of my most favorite tasks as a ranger, tagging wildlife. Oh, why? Yeah, now, sometimes I'll be tagging moose or bear, but today, I'm doing the trickiest of all. I'm tagging flies. <laughs> now, the first thing we need to do is lure them close. It's a shame Stinky Peterson isn't here. Well, it's not necessary, Red. I have this green pork chop. <laughs> and, oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, got him. Nice work. Nope. No, I mean, it's a fur. <laughs> All right, now, I'm going to be uh, taking one of these tags. If you take down the details, oh, please, sure. Red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire away. Now, it is a female black fly. Ready? Tag number 22395. 22395. No discernible markings. I got it. Now, to make sure the tag stays on, we'll use this stapler here. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, that's... oh no. What's well, on there? Oh, I killed it, Red. <laughs> I killed one of nature's wonders. <laughs> no, no, wait. Come on. No, no, no. No, she's fine. She's fine, Gord. Flew away. Fine, right as rain. Look at that. She Good. flew away? Yeah. She's OK. Oh, yeah. I just had to get uh, used to the weight of the tag, I think. Oh. Yeah. yeah. OK, great. Yeah. Well, let's do number 22396, two, huh? Let's wow. work till dinner. I'll fry us up some pork chops. <laughs> OK. All right, this here is a wood file. It's called a coarse bastard file. That's right, a coarse bastard, OK? See, it says right there, coarse bastard. So, Stinky, if you're watching this, it's you who owes me an apology. <laughs> I don't mind people offering opinions on our sculpture. But I don't need a bunch of punks playing street ball near the statue. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> that, that, was the, that was the Possum Lake High School team. Well, I don't care, Harold. They had a bad attitude. Oh, no, they didn't. I know a lot of those girls. <laughs> They're in my whole Met class. Oh, Harold, I don't know what it is about people. They feel they got to offer creative suggestions, yelling out from the back of the crowd while we're trying to carve the possum. They're saying stuff like, oh, take a little bit off there, or put a little bit back on over there, or... Whoops. <laughs> Old man Sedgwick standing back saying, that doesn't look like a duck. Well, you know, you get 30 men wailing away on a big piece of rock with sledgehammers and axes and tire irons. You're just asking for trouble. You know? <laughs> but, you know, I, I'm being honest. I, I think a lot of those people, they were just giving creative suggestions. Yeah, well, by the time we got done with all their creative suggestions, our huge rock had turned into a gravel driveway. <laughs> so now we got to change our medium. We're switching to steel. <laughs> Good idea. Steal a statue. No, Harold, no, 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 Harold, no. We're going to get out all our welding gear, and we're going to make the four horsemen of the apocalypse out of K cars. Wow. Now that's innovative. Yeah. Finally, a statue that gets decent gas mileage and a seven year warranty. <laughs> well, meanwhile, back at Bill's car, we're ready to get her going. You know, not every guy has his own little secret for starting a car. You know, with me, it's a lot in the way you twist the wrist. With Bill, it's more the way he nods his head. And with me, it's the, as I say, it's the twisting. And with Bill, it's the nodding. And we kind of, usually that'll, you know, usually when the two of us get going, there's hardly a vehicle. We, you know, we can usually get her. We can usually, but not in this case, it seems. So uh, Bill's getting out there. And uh, want to go around and just check under the hood? It's a problem. What do you want? Huh? Huh? Oh, yeah, okay, open the hood, yep, yeah. all right, open her up. <laughs> oh, golly, it's got one of them uh, spring-loaded uh, hoods on there, yeah, you all right? Yeah, okay, up she comes, and there should be a bar there, Bill, should be something there to put that, put a little bar, there should be a bar there to hold that, uh, like some type of a bar thing. Uh, Bill, no, I believe that's a dipstick. You know? Actually, there's a couple of them I'm looking at. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work, Bill, no matter how long you do it. What do we got there? Oh, that's the old coat hanger from earlier in the show. He's... You know, I'm not sure that a coat hanger would hold up uh, the weight of a hood. Do you think that would... Does that make a lot of sense to you? Well, by golly. 
It does hold up the, 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 the weight of the hood. <laughs> Just not for long. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want? Oh, open the hood. All right, all right, all right, all right. Gotcha, gotcha. There we go. Is that better? You all right? Okay. Now, this is going way back now. The old cars used to be able to hook a crank right into the end of the crankshaft. Well, I guess that's why they call it a shaft, or a crank, you know what I mean. So Bill's gonna hook that in there and try and turn the motor over manually. Oh boy, oh boy, this is very neat. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Because what can happen is the thing can start going backwards on you, even. Careful there, Bill. Careful there. Watch if it doesn't reverse on you there. Oh, there goes. There go. Look out. She's coming your way. Okay, okay, okay. Almost got her, almost got her. Oh boy, oh boy. A little more, a little more. Almost got her. Oh boy. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. You all right there, Bill? Look out. Look out. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh. All right, let's uh, let's try these. Oh, <laughs> gosh! I should know better than to stand that. Well, anyway, he's got the jumper cables out there. He's got the double sets. He's gonna put the one end on there, and then we'll just uh, we'll just hook them together. It's amazing how much uh, power you can buy. You can get out of uh, just a couple of batteries. What do you got there? Oh, the quick, oh yeah, the quick start. The quick start. I believe this is uh, ether. Ether would be a good thing to have around Bill. Actually, now that I think of it, he's... Take it easy there, Bill. You don't need a lot of it. You just need a little squirt of that stuff. That'll work real. You don't need... Bill. No, no, Bill. You're... No, Bill. That's... That's almost an explosive, Bill. I think. I could be wrong. But I think that's almost an explosive. Mind you, I could be wrong. Two cans are very empty in there. I could... Maybe... I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong about that. <laughs> no. No, I think I got it pretty much... Pretty much right on there. Oh, boy. Where's the hood? Oh, there it is. All right. Uh, is the engine running? It's not just running, it left. So we got to find an alternate means of power there. Good gas mileage, just too much gas. Stay tuned for my buddy Winston Rothschild, the king of pumps. should have seen our K-Car statue. I may not know art, but I know what I like, and it's welding vehicles together. <laughs> now, I, I know I said the four horsemen of the apocalypse, but if we had so many K-Cars, we made seven. <laughs> War, death, famine, sleepy, dopey, grumpy, and shemp. <laughs> Something under there. Oh. oh boy, it was like all the windshield wipers were going, all the yeah. lights were turned yeah. on. Yeah. Every radio station was tuned into the same one, the Port Asbestos station. Yeah. That yeah. was it was only time and weather, but still. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it was a multimedia display, really, of kinetic art and social commentary. <laughs> yeah. Where did you learn to talk like that? Well, that's what the librarian said when she saw it, you know, and uh, she was really excited until she realized that, you know, one of the K cars was hers. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'll tell you, judging from her language, I bet she reads a lot of D.H. Lawrence. I don't think she was the only one who was not impressed with your no, work. You know, no. the police climbed up on the thing and stuck a ticket under everybody's windshield. <laughs> there were six for parking and one littering. Yeah, we had to give all the K-cars back, but it doesn't matter. We got a better idea. Instead of making a statue, we're just going to take something we already have and call it a statue. We should have thought of this in the first place. Something you already have? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like what, like what, like a lawnmower or something? What do you, <laughs> what do you got that could be considered art? Your beer can collection or <laughs> your polyester pant wall hanging? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the expert portion of the show. And on this week's expert portion of the show, we have experts, my uncle Red, and of course, his good friend, Mr. Winston Rothschild. <laughs> First letter goes as follows, dear experts. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's the secret to getting a great job? <laughs> if my uncle knew that, he wouldn't be hosting this show. <laughs> well, obviously, the key to a great job is to have an uncle that owes your father a lot of money. Uh, well, actually, uh, <clears throat> I have to diverge with you there for a second, Red. See, my dad owed all kinds of people all kinds of things, and... Actually, the only job that ever got me was once a guy came up to me and said, uh, if you beat up another guy, he wouldn't beat up my father. Well, I don't think we would ask you what a great job was about anyway. <laughs> well, uh... I don't agree. I mean, especially if the guy expires to be like me and own his own sewage and septic sucking service, eh? <laughs> Mr. Rothschild, I think you mean aspires. No, no, Harold, I think expires is right. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, uh, the key to a good career is finding the key to that career. That's key. And 
You know, I just happened to have found the key to the uh, sewage and septic sucking business. Eh? Bot sinuses? No. 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 No, no, the key to uh, successful sewage sucking is the personal touch, eh? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You've got to, uh, you've got to chat up the uh, customers, eh? Oh, yeah, you've got to make them feel at home, make them feel special, you know? Cater to their every need. Because in my business, the customer is king. Only while they're on the throne. <laughs> well, it took us a while. But we finally got a new statue in town by just using something we already had. Not Buster Hatfield stove. No, 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 nothing stupid, Harold. Didn't use those unused extra cycles the guys brought in either. <laughs> Somebody suggested we have old man Cedric just stand there and pretend he's a statue, but we wanted something more lifelike. <laughs> Haven't you figured it out yet, Uncle Red? Art takes talent. That's what's missing here, you know, not the materials, not the supplies. Art is in the artist, not in the palette. No, nope, that's right, Harold. That's why we decided to use the fan boat, eh? We've given up on art, we're gonna go with practicality. Oh, what, the, the, the fan boat's the new statue? Yep. The town council won't allow that. Oh, yes, they will, Harold. We got her set up so that the fan blows right out over the lake, breeze all the time, keeps the bugs out of town, and guarantees you're always upwind from Stinky Peterson's place. <laughs> oh, I still don't think they're just gonna let it sit there blowing over the lake. <laughs> oh, yes, they will, Harold, because the mayor has a sailboat. Yeah. Get it? Huh? I'm telling you, Harold, huh? we've created a statue out of our fan boat. We got the mayor out on the lake where he can't make any more stupid mistakes, and we killed a couple hours doing it. If that isn't art, I don't know what is. <laughs> no, I'm sure you don't. <laughs> oh, see, that's meeting time. Yeah, well, you go ahead, Harold. I'll be down in a, in a few minutes. All right. All right. All right. Well, this has been quite a day. If my wife is watching, I'll be coming straight home after the meeting and maybe later on this evening when we're sitting out by the lake and you hear a loud noise and a lot of wind, you can be sure that I'm responsible. <laughs> the rest of you, thanks for watching. On behalf of myself and Harold and the whole gang up here at Possum Lodge, keep your stick on the ice. I was telling you already that, you know, the, uh, people make things. The Possum Lodge sign there in front of that thing that was made by the same, this guy made this and brought this in. You flip it around. Uh, this is fantastic. His name's Jim Jackson. He lives in uh, Simcoe. Possum Lodge member 4118. And, uh, boy, is that ever going to burn good. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha Boy, this is too much!